Joseph Palikudembe, the Executive Director of Centenary Bank, praised the Institute for Banking for driving the serving culture nationwide. Palikudembe emphasized that embracing a serving culture helps individuals grow their finances and assets. Serving allows money to generate income and acquire assets like land and housing, opening up investment opportunities. Just like life or well, sustainability is something that we should be doing. Not Centenary Bank staff, not in, at every human being should be in position to save money. And this is the communication we are going to send out to the staff and even our clients. Tell them we need to learn to save, we need to save because we don't know what is ahead of us. And the more prepared we are now, the better the future is going to be. Tilda Nabanja, Head of Financial Literacy at the Bank of Uganda, advised redirecting savings towards investments to boost the economy. Are trying to bridge that gap to see that how can we create products and services that can enable informal access to financial services linked to the formal financial access. We are no longer competing. I think you can now see uh, from the big savings box that we have all those logos of financial institutions that are regulated and they are joining hands to see that we play our role, we play our part. Centenary Bank focuses on introducing products and services for Ugandans accustomed to informal serving methods. As part of the campaign, serving boxes will be distributed to Centenary Bank branches, promoting serving among staff and customers. Fans raise will sponsor women-led organizations advocating sustainability. And you know that in Uganda we have this windfall thing, windfall mindset. It's very difficult for us to put aside 500 shillings to get to a good goal. We think that the money will come, the salary will come, and it comes and we use it. So similarly, we are saying the little we are getting from every member of staff. Ugandans do actually save, that's for sure. It is only that the savings that are in the formal sector, formal regulated environment, is about 15%. But in whatever capacity our, 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 our research, of, though not documented, do demonstrate that Uganda do save. The campaign highlights the Green Initiative, supporting businesses and organizations dedicated to environmental sustainability with a chance to receive financial donations. Sandra Kahunde, Jamil Sekaja, News Tonight.